Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a massive unsponsored and unbiased scrubs review on four different scrub brands, all available easily in the UK. So we've got some large brands like Figs, as well as some small businesses and the results were pretty damn surprising. So I'm going to go through each scrubs, I'm going to wear them, talk about them and then at the very end I'll show you a side by side video comparison of the fit of the scrubs and also a summary table comparing everything. So make sure you stick around for that. First, let's get my proportions out of the way. So I'm around five foot eight, 70 kilos, have a chest size of about 40 inches. Waist is about 31 inches. I usually wear a size S and in trousers, it's usually a 30 inch waist and a 30 inch length. First up, we've got six scrubs. These were designed and founded by a solo female entrepreneur who's also a veterinary nurse, which is really cool. The main aim of her brand was to get a luxurious product at an affordable price. They come in two different colors and sizes. Core, which is the more looser fit, is black and the athletic fit is navy. I'd say the material is pretty soft, it's quite breathable, it's a bit flowy, it's not too stretchy like you can see it's, it doesn't stretch that much but it's still very comfortable. Now I'm sure you guys know what happens when you're wearing some beautiful NHS scrubs and god forbid you bend down two degrees all your stuff just drops out. The good thing is that Katie's actually addressed this and there's some hidden pockets over here so I bet you didn't even realize and they've got a nice zip on both sides. This is something that neither of the other brands that I'm reviewing today has, so it does make them stand out a little bit. They've also got quite a wide chest pocket um, with a little separation where you can put your pen into. So I've got my phone over here as well. This is what it looks like if the phone is in the pocket. I'll get it in eventually. <laughs> yeah, I guess most likely you're not gonna be putting this in your pocket anyway, it's gonna be you know, lower down, but that's how it looks like if you do put your phone in. It does wear down a bit. My only qualm with the top is probably the fit. The smaller size that you can get is a small, and even though it's supposed to be an athletic fit, it doesn't really fit that well around my arms as snugly as I'd like. But what it does do is it gives this quite a, a distinctive and recognizable look. And I did give my feedback to Katie about this, and it seems that they're working on making a model with more fitted sleeves. I also think it's a little bit too long for someone of my height. It's not the end of the world, but it does go down a bit too low, more so than I'd like, which you can actually fix by tucking it in. So yeah, that's what it looks like if I tuck it in, and uh, that's what it looks like from the back. So yeah, it's a, it's a vibe. I really like the joggers. I think they're so comfortable. My colleague, when I wore them, literally thought that I was wearing joggers to work. The material, I think, is also a bit thicker than the other brands, which could be a sign of better quality. Time will tell if that's the case. The overall fit, I think, is a good level of tailored. It's not too body hugging, but it's also not too loose. Side pockets are pretty roomy. Um, I'd say they're like the roomiest of the lot. You can probably fit a couple of calculators in here, <laughs> which is nice. And they're also zipped, and that makes them stand out from the other brands. The back, I'd say, They've got two pockets over here. There's also a thigh pocket compartment over here with one pocket, two pocket, but also a pen pocket. Now, I don't know who puts pens in on their thigh, but if you're into that, there's also one other thing which I don't think was intentional, but there's like a little logo thing over here and that can be used for putting some keys on eight hours later that's how i've been using it on the wards when i do wear these scrubs but yeah do this at your own risk because i didn't think it was designed for that so i don't know if it can handle the weight overall i think these are some great scrubs to get if you want something that's quite distinctive in its looks it's very flattering especially when tucked in it's quite functional with the you know extra pockets and the zips and overall I think it's a vibe that a lot of people will be into. Next up, we've got Simkiwear, which is a bigger brand, and their main goal was to offer scrubs that have performance, style, and the comfort that's associated with more athletic garments and deliver that in scrubs. So they say they've got liquid repellent scrubs, which you definitely need to test out. They're anti-wrinkle, and these guys also offer the largest size variety of the brands, from an extra small to an extra extra L, and eight different colors, which is mad. I personally went for light blue because I already got navy in the other brands. They've got two varieties of tops, one that's a crew neck with a pocket and one that's a traditional v-neck without a pocket. They also do scrub bottoms that are jogger style and ones that are standard cut. So I quite like the fitting of this top. I think it sits really well on my shoulders, my chest and my arms. It's a good cut and it gets a bit of tricep exposure out. Although I think you might want to size down in this, I'm currently wearing an XS. I wore a small and I was kind of drowning in it. I'd say the aesthetic is very much like traditional scrubs. It's got very minimal branding, I think just over here. So people really wouldn't be able to tell that you're wearing custom scrubs, but they'd be better fitted. So it will look like you're filling out the NHS scrubs, which is good. 
yeah, it's got a good height and you can see in the mirror there if it fits nicely. Um, it's a perfect length for me. Yeah, I like that. It's also got kind of hidden pockets as well, just like the, the six scrubs, but um, there's no zips here. In terms of what it's lacking, I'd say maybe that chest pocket. Um, they do offer the model that has um, that pocket, but then you have to get a crew neck shirt and you have to choose between one or the other. So I don't like that aspect out of it because I like the, I want the traditional scrub look and I'd like a little pocket there. This is what it looks like from the back. Not that you'd want to tuck this in because it's not long, so it'll probably, you know, fall out. So I've tucked it in just for you guys. Um, you can see how it looks. With these, you'll probably have to size down as well in the trousers, so I'm currently wearing an XS, and I find that it fits me better in the booty, booty, and the calves, and it's pretty, um, you know, snug over here. But the thigh region is a bit on the looser side, so the overall look isn't as tailored um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing if you've got a build that's more like mine so you've got a wider sort of chest and back narrow waist and then your thighs kind of go out it will fit that kind of more um, athletic sort of build i'd say it's very comfy as well um you know here's a little squat test for this i like it oh, my knees man i've got two side pockets these pockets are a bit smaller than the other ones it's made of a good strong material let's see if i can put a phone inside there quick time and yeah looks all right yeah it doesn't really weigh down the the jog as much because yeah it's quite tight over here so it doesn't really wear it down but with these they're very minimalistic they don't have any extra thigh pockets which some of the other brands have and you'll notice this trend in a lot of simki wears clothes where they're more minimal in nature which you may or may not prefer i've noticed there's a lot of fabric in the height as well so if you're a shorter guy then it might look a bit more baggy but because they're joggers and they kind of like roll up your legs so it doesn't look too bad like it fits me fine and i think it's probably a good thing because then they can um, tailor to a broader range of you know people People. but in the future you could offer a short uh, or a regular and a long overall I'd say get these scrubs if you want something that looks much more like a traditional scrub aesthetic with a more tailored athletic fit it's great if you want something very minimal simplistic um, you know low-key little branding and you don't think you'll need those additional features like the chest pocket uh, you know unless you go for that crew neck version or the thigh pockets before we go talk about figs the big daddy of scrub brands I feel a bit tired so I'm gonna go make myself a drink. So this is Magic Mind, a small drink that basically keeps me energized and focused throughout the day. Because of my work as a doctor, some of my shifts can be really long and stressful. And because of that, I would resort to having a couple of cups of coffee a day. But as you know, that comes with a lot of downsides. Magic Mind's unique combination of caffeine and nootropics are all research backed, which as a doctor, is very important to me. The last thing I want is health misinformation getting out there. I've been drinking one on most days of the week, to be honest, for the past five or so months. Some days it's a shot, some days I mix it in with my coffee, or today I'm trying it with some sparkling water. Yeah, sparkling water. I do genuinely think it's helped. And because Magic Mind is a long-term partner of the channel, they've hooked you guys up with a 20% off discount code using Devify. Order it, see if it works for you, it may not, and if it doesn't, you'll get your money back in full. So. There's no harm in trying it out. Whoa, all right, so we've got figs. Now, these guys are the most expensive and the most well-known brand, but are they worth the price? We're gonna find out today. First up, they definitely have the most robust lineup I've seen of scrub items with underlayers, jackets, lab coats, figs professional line with like 20 different colors, even though most of them are not in stock. But to be honest, the whole lineup is a bit confusing. I still don't know what the name of each scrub actually means. I think they should definitely simplify the lineup up or explain it a bit better. Fix came in some plastic packaging with three discount codes to give to your friends of $25. Although you already get like a 15 to 20% discount anyway. So I don't think the discount code is too special, but I do like the marketing tactic going on here. And I've got to say, I'm a bit disappointed in the delivery time as it took one and a half weeks for it to arrive. And that was without the embroidery. Speaking of which, this is the only company here which offers this service and I love it. Um, I really wish more companies did. If you're wondering why I got all these random colors, black for figs, it's because on Instagram I put out a story and I said, you know, which one do you guys want me to get? Put out a couple pictures. And so my audience, you guys on Instagram, basically picked it out. The top is very comfy. Um, you know, it's 
it smells really nice as well. <laughs> so it fits my shoulders quite nicely, um, you can see. Um, and I do love the tapering on the waist. So it kind of goes in and it comes out a little bit, which gives that V body shape. This is what it looks like from the back. And it's also the most minimalist brand, uh, probably just edging out Simki. It does, however, come with a few cons. There's no hidden side pockets, as I'm saying. Um, and I do think that is quite an important thing. It does, however, have a breast pocket that's divided into two. Um, you have a pen pocket as well over here, and you have another additional pocket. So you can put quite a few things, and it's relatively roomy. My only gripe with this, I'd say, is I'm not a huge fan of the armholes. It's supposed to be more of an athletic build, um, so I think they could cut the sleeve length down for, for some more arm exposure. But if they were to, let's say, up there, it just looks so much better. The bottoms are a completely different story to the top, and I really don't have much more to improve. Um, I stuck to my regular size S in short, and I think it fits me pretty well. What do you think? Um, it's very tailored, and um, let me just do a little squat test. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, the jogger survived, but my knees did not. But yeah, it's not too stretchy, it's quite comfortable. It's got two back pockets over here, and uh, two pockets on the side with a little bit of branding over here. So I think the aesthetic is very um, it's very minimal. I think you guys will see this with Simki and also with Figs. They only have the bare essentials that you need. So there's no thigh pockets or no zips, nothing like that. And um, it's got a nice little drawstring as well, proper color. Actually, it is missing one feature which the next scrub brand has. I think the look of the Figs is very flattering. It's probably one of the best in terms of body fit. I'd say get Figs if you don't mind spending a fair bit of money. Want features like having a antimicrobial coating, which the other brands don't currently offer and you want to get your scrubs embroidered first hand. Maybe you like a slim aesthetic and you don't mind those looser arms, or maybe you want to buy some other Figs products which um, you know might look good together with your scrubs. Last up, we have a relatively new brand that was founded by two GPs, Matt and Kapil. Their aim was to make scrubs that offered fit, functionality and comfort at a reasonable price. You can get the scrubs in three different colors, navy, light blue and green. And in terms of scrub bottoms, you can pick a jogger style variant or the straight cut variant. When I opened these, it also had this really nice smell. I don't know what it was, but it, it was nice. I liked it. <laughs> okay. Overall, I think they're very comfy, breathable, fabric's quite light, probably one of the lighter of the lot. Six scrubs had the more heavier fabric, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. This is how it looks from the back. I think the arms here aren't as good as Simki's, but I think I think they're quite decent. It's also got some hidden pockets on the side as well. They're not as big as the other brands, I think, but they're, yeah, they're not bad. Let me put my phone in it just to see um, how it looks like. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better than the, um, what's it called, Six Scrubs. Um, it's less prominent, but yeah, ideally you don't want to put something as heavy as a phone anyway, so uh, this is probably a pointless test. And then on the front, you've got um, one big pocket um, with a compartment for your pen. Also, I quite like the, the curvature on the bottom. It's really nice and it gives this nice little little hem. Um, but the only issue is it's a bit too long and so it kind of covers my bottom which makes me look shorter. So I'd love it if in the future they could offer maybe a regular cut and a long cut for some of the shorter kings out there. The way around it would probably be just to tuck it in and then that's how it looks like from the back. I don't know, I like it. I like it. In terms of sizing, I'd say stick to your regular size. Um, you can maybe size down if possible if you want a more tapered fit. Potentially, I could get into an excess if there was one. I do think you guys should probably in the future offer it anyway. All right, so I've got the bottoms on now. And if I'm being honest, I love them. I think they have the most tailored fit of all the, all the scrubs if you're into that. And to be honest though, all the other brands have really good joggers. Um, I, there's, I'm nitpicking here to be honest. This is just probably the most tailored, these and the figs. The other ones are really good, really comfy too. But I think this just edges out the others because of the extra features. The side pockets over here, which is nice. You've got the two back pockets as well. There's also a little pocket, which I'll probably never use, but um, you can put something stuff in there as well. And there's another one over here, which is sick. Only six scrubs and this one has this kind of pocket. Um, so if you need the extra functionality, then I'd say, you know, go for these. I love the orange. The orange is one of my favorite things. It stands out. But there is one thing about that, guys. How long do you guys want it? This one goes lower than my knee. Uh, <laughs> I think you guys really need to shorten it just a tad bit. It just hangs out. And so you end up having to kind of tuck it in like this. But if you end up doing this, then it stands out. And I think it looks pretty, pretty neat. That little pop of color. 
My favorite feature though, is gonna be this little loop over here. A lot of hospitals have these lanyards, these keys that you need to attach inside here, which is sick. And then you can just use it to, you know, do all that kind of stuff um, when you need. And yeah, I love this. More scrubs should have this. Overall, I think it's a very solid package and it delivers great value for money, which is what they were going for. It's very feature packed, has a great fit, and it does all that while looking minimal and aesthetic. Kapil also mentioned that in the future, they want to do a lot of giveaways, um, host events for healthcare professionals and build up this community, which sounds wonderful and I do hope they succeed. Here I have a table that gives a side-by-side -side comparison of the different scrubs. I think we can see that all the scrub brands are very different. Not one of them is perfect. They all have amazing pros and some cons. So you have to decide which features are the most important to you, what aesthetic you want, what build you are, and what budget you have. The great thing about all of these brands is that they're actively trying to improve with more features like the antimicrobial fabrics, benefits, and higher quality, which I respect. But I wanna know what you guys think. Which one of these scrubs would you get? And which one of them do you think looks the best on me? Now that you've seen me wear the scrubs, you haven't actually seen what I do with the scrubs. So make sure you check out this vlog, which is my first ever day as a junior doctor in the UK's National Health Service.